once a home for production of the technologically advanced, flawlessly designed queen of non-stop routes, Boeing 777-300ER aircraft is likely closed and no more to be produced. In the last two decades, Boeing 777-300ER certainly implanted its legacy into the aviation industry. Let's look into how Boeing designed this marvel to change the twin-engine economics and the way people fly on long-haul flights. 777 model was a result of the request made by many airlines demanding for an aircraft that is bigger than 767 but smaller than 747. After the introduction of 777-200, 200ER and 300, the 300ER was innovated by Boeing, aiming to address the long-range requirements without compromising the capacity. Boeing did it successfully, let's see how. In the mid of year 2002, the design of the 300ER was near completion and Boeing started major design assembly. Notably, the 300ER was fully designed using computer-aided design, CAD. Aerodynamic improvements. One of the most innovative designs of the ER was the famous raked wingtips. Boeing extended the wings by six and a half feet with raked wingtips added. This brought major advantages. Reduced takeoff field length, increased climb performance, reduced fuel burn up to 2%, thus reduced emission. Boeing also used the supercritical aerofoil which helped increase speed without a drag penalty. Landing gear improvement introduced new landing gear, which shifted the center of rotation from the main axle to the aft axle. This means when the aircraft rotates, the nose rises high earlier, resulting in two advantages. First, being able to reduce the runway length required, and the second, being able to add more payload for the same runway length. Tail strike protection aims to prevent the tail from contacting the ground during takeoff and landing. When there is protection from tail strike, lifting off at reduced speed is the advantage. This feature is included in the primary flight computer. This computer monitors at what speed and how close the aircraft tail is coming closer to the runway pavement. When the aircraft tail comes very close, this computer alters the elevator position automatically to slow down the rotation, thus avoiding the contact of the tail with the runway. On the 777-300 Classic testing, test pilots managed to create the contact between tail and runway 12 times. But on the ER program, they have tried without success even once. This was an amazing feature. The 300 ER comes with the overhead flight crew rest, which is located on the crown at the aft of the aircraft. Flight crew rests that were installed earlier on other models were not certified to occupy for taxi, takeoff, and landing, otherwise called TTL. Boeing managed to design the overhead flight crew rest and qualified it for taxi, takeoff, and landing on the 300 ER. So the 300 ER brought an advantage to airlines as they can sell more seats. New computers and technology, new smaller and lighter weight but more powerful computers are installed which provided protection and improved handling characteristics. Powerful engines. Boeing has chosen GE 9115B engines to power the 300ER. This engine delivered powerful 115,000 pounds of thrust while being quiet, smooth, fuel efficient and most reliable. The marriage of innovative 300ER with the powerful GE engine was a huge success. This made Boeing achieve a record maximum takeoff weight of 351,000 kilograms, the heaviest takeoff ever for a twin-engine airplane. With the above, Boeing almost designed an aircraft that was set to be the jet of 21st century. Flight testing begins. Boeing unveiled this newest 300ER model at Everett and broadcasted worldwide on the November 14, 2002. This was the world's first jetliner rollout broadcast via the internet. On the 20th of February 2003, Boeing test pilots completed the first taxi testing of the aircraft. 24th of February 2003, 300ER aircraft took off. Its first flight from Everett and Boeing managed to broadcast it in the internet. The first flight also marked the start of testing program which was planned for 1,600 hour of flying. 
Boeing assembled the second aircraft by April 2003 and was also used on the test program. Refused or rejected takeoff testing was completed in September 2003, which tests the braking performance of the aircraft without the thrust reversers. ETOPS testing. During the 13-hour test flight from Seattle to Taipei, pilots shut down one engine and flew the aircraft for 330 minutes, longest ever one engine shutdown demonstration ever in the history of aviation. By December 2003, Boeing almost completed most of the testing, and the test results surprised the aviation industry. This is why 300ER became the trendsetter in ultra-long range operations and pilots called it the greatest airplane of all time. Boeing did almost nearly impossible with the impressive offering of 351,000 kilograms payload and 7,700 nautical miles range. Twin engine economics changed. Enormously successful extended twin engine operations testing has demonstrated the suitability of twin jets to long range and very long range operations. Only after this, twin engine jets became more popular than four engine jets. First aircraft delivery. On the 29th of April 2004, first aircraft was handed over to Air France, took off from Everett. The inspiring journey of the 300ER began there. Result of 300ER. Passengers liked the plane for its spacious cabin ultra long range comfort and quieter engines. Airlines liked it for reliability, fuel efficiency, increased payload and range. Pilots liked it for the handling characteristics, technology and reliability. The result, twin engine aircraft became popular. It was almost possible to travel non-stop between any two cities in the world. Airlines with the 300ER was able to develop a loyal customer base over time. Number of aircraft sold. Boeing managed to sell over 800 of 300ER aircraft to various airlines such as Air France, Japan Airlines, Cathay Pacific Emirates Air India and Qatar Airways. Certainly 300ER is an aircraft which satisfied all the stakeholders, though the production line of this marvellous aircraft is likely closed due to the orders moving towards next generation of Boeing aircraft 777X. Its legacy will remain in the hearts of airlines, passengers, pilots and engineers.